Hi, everybody. It is 8.30, and my second dog is here. I'm trying to find my coffee real quick. Oh, there it is. Okay. I got to get ready. I got to have my coffee. If you like my beautiful coffee cup, one of my customers gave me this for Christmas. So cute. And I have a border collie named Rowdy here. And he is my second dog of the day. And he is going to go right up the ramp, if we're lucky, and jump in the tub. Okay? Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. There we go. Once they're trained to run up the ramp, they just do it. Whoop. Just going to put a loop on him so he doesn't jump out. Take his collar off and get started with his bath. So come closer and enjoy watching me wash a dog. Okay, I have two bathing tools that I'm going to use. I'm going to use a loofah. Get them everywhere. Dollar store. They're very cheap. And I'm going to use this, um, I don't know what it's called. It's a de-shedding rake tool thingy, but that's what it looks like. We're just going to pull all the shampoo and conditioner through his coat with this and we're going to scrub him down with this and he is excited because his tail is wagging because he likes the bat yeah do you like the loofah do you like the rake he does all right i'm just scrubbing him down got him loaded up with shampoo and just making an observation here He's missing a lot of hair on his tail. I'm not a vet. Don't listen to me. I'm just making an observation. He's missing a lot of hair on his tail. And he has gained a lot of weight since last time he was here. He could have a thyroid problem. But I'm not going to tell the owner because I'm not allowed to say a word. But <laughs> I'm going to tell you guys. Because it's just something to say during the video, but something's going on with this guy. He, he's a lot bigger than he was last time. His mother says that he's going to the vet in a couple weeks, so maybe, maybe they'll figure it out. I'm just using this rake to pull through his hair. It just separates it and helps the shampoo get down next to his skin. Just pulls all that loose hair out. His hair is coming out by the handfuls, not just his tail, it's all over. It's just, it's coming out, there's tons, tons and tons just falling, falling out. That's a clue. <laughs> all right, I got my bucket here. I'm just diluting some conditioner. I'm going to pour this over him. It's really concentrated, so... I mean, the shampoo, I don't always mix. I hardly ever mix, but the conditioner I do sometimes, especially with bigger dogs, just so I can pour it over them. Get it under his chest. Get it on his tail. He doesn't really have any hair on his tail, but, you know, he has skin. <laughs> so. Yeah, his hair, is, his hair is just falling out like crazy. Just going to rake this through. 
bleach. He's going to have a whole lot less hair when he's done with his bath. It's just, it's just all coming out and it's thin already. He's a good dog though. I think he, I think he enjoys it. All right, I'm going to rinse him off and then start blow drying him. All right, so this guy that I'm bringing out is very, he is very, what's the word, skittish on the table. He's very shaky and weird and like, he, he's scared. Scared, that's a good word. So, I use this, um, this is a doormat, it's rubber, and it's really grippy. That is a word I made up. It's grippy, like non-slip. It's good for this guy. So, I'm using this. Just so he's he's not like slipping around and getting all weird when he's standing on the table. I don't know if that makes sense. But that's what I'm doing for him. I got to get my ramp ready. So when he comes out, he can just walk right up the ramp. So I know when the table is slippery, he tries to jump off. And we don't we don't want that. All right, let me go get him out. He'll he'll walk right up the ramp. Okay, come here. Whoop! Come here. Come here. Come here. Up the ramp. Up the ramp. There we go. Okay, come here. See what I mean? He's very skittish. So we have to go slow with him because <laughs> he will try to jump. Calm down. Let me get him. Let me get a bigger loop. So I got a small one on there. We need a bigger one for you. There we go. Switch this. Take this off. And raise this up. Now he is getting his neck trimmed, his butt trimmed, his nails cut. You stay right there. You stay. And uh, nails cut. His nails are pretty much worn down. His ears clean, brushed, and all that fun stuff. Just going to raise the table up a little bit because I don't want him to try to jump. Do it really slowly. So I got my hand here holding his butt. He can sit. There we go. All right. I'm not going to go all the way up. We're going to keep him down low. And I'm going to finish drawing him real quick. Get my pin brush. dry. His hair is so thin. Easy. I just want to show you his tail hair. See his tail? All his hair. His hair is missing and it's just coming out in clumps. So I'm going to get my. How am I going to do? 
We're gonna get my clippers and clip his nails. All right, I'm down on the floor. <laughs> I just, cause I don't wanna raise the table up high cause if he gets freaky, he's gonna try to jump. I just wanna show you his nails. Look how worn down they are. I don't know if you can see. These two middle ones are worn down to the nub. He's definitely gripping his foot weird when he walks. So I'm gonna cut the, I'm gonna cut the side nails because they are long and the middle ones are short. Cut those and put his dew claw. Super easy. Can I have this foot? Thank you. Cut this dew claw. Yep, these are the same. These are worn down to the nub. So I'm going to cut the outside ones because they're long. And that is it. The back ones are worn down. So that's it for nails. I'm using my zero comb just to skim off the scraggly hairs around his neck. This is a zero comb attachment. It's just a plastic, it was plastic and metal comb and it goes over the main blade. Got to go real slow because he will try to jump because I've done him many times. Hold on. Hold on, that'll work. You can sit. Stay right there. Da, 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 da. Oh, up, 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 up. Okay. Okay. I'm going to put this back on because he, he's going to try to jump off. There we go. Okay. Sometimes if you use a comb attachment on a border collie, it can look choppy if their undercoat is thick. But his fur is so thin, it looks fine. All right. All right, and a butt trim too. It's gonna use the same zero comb on his butt. There we go. Pretty easy. We're almost done. I'm going to clean his ears and dress him up. Even though I already went over his neck, I'm still going to go over it one more time with my chunkers, just to blend it in. I had to get, like I said, I'm going really slow. <laughs> he will jump. And I had a dog once try to jump off the table. Well, he did jump off the table. And he pulled this bar with him and cracked my table. So I got to be... <laughs> I gotta be very careful. All right. Just fluffing it up back here. Make sure there's no scraggly hairs. He's missing a lot of hair under his tail too. It's pretty much bald back here. It's kind of good for me though, because he dries super fast. <laughs> All right, you're about done. I mean, I feel like it's too easy. I, I feel like I need to cut something else, but there's nothing really to cut. Good job. Okay.
get my baby wipe and wipe him down. I got my conditioning spray. Spray that makes them nice and shiny, makes them smell good, and makes them soft. Get some water. Wipe his face off. His nose still looks a little dirty, but it might just be stained. If he's if he's rooting around in the dirt all the time, just it might just be stained. All right, you are done. Let me get his bandana. You stay. Da, 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 da. You stay right there. Okay. Hold on. I had to try to find his collar. It was on the floor. I couldn't find it. He knows he's ready because I picked up his collar. I'm telling you, these dogs know everything. You stay right there. Okay. Here's his Halloween bandana. I don't know if you can see that little, that little bat right there. Isn't that cute? This just slips over his collar. I make uh, the bandanas for all the dogs that are groomed here. Slips right over. It's curved, so it fits real good, and they don't even know they're wearing it. Are you going to be pretty for Halloween? Yeah? All right. Super cute. And I, I don't know if you can see. I also put some um, puppy dots, green puppy dots, along, along the top here. And I put some puppy dots on the bat's wings. <laughs> That's cute. I don't know if his mother will even notice, but it's still fun to make. And like I said, I'm going slow because once if you go fast, they think they're done. All right. Good job. That was super easy. Okay. You slowly get my ramp over here and let him... Walk himself back into the cage. Hold on. Hold on. Get this ready. Take this off. Okay, let's go. Come on. Come on. Come on. Here we go. 